I'm now logged into Brain Genie as the teacher, Mr. John Wayne. I am at my class called First Period Math, and I have already given the code to my students. So when I click on Roster, I can see that some of my students have already started to enroll. If I click on Reports, you will not see anything at this point because the students haven't been given assignments and haven't been working on them, but you will notice that information will build in here as students start doing work. There are also no archived goals because, well, the class has just started. So I'm going to click on the name of my course, First Period Math, and the first thing I have to do is establish a goal. So I'm going to click on New Goal, either one of these will work, and then I'm going to type in a new goal. My goal is to use equivalent fractions as a strategy to add and subtract fractions. So I'm going to create this goal. And once you create a goal, you will notice that it immediately brings you to the grades 1 through 8 math screen. And there are a variety of different topics, and I have clicked on fractions. And now I'm going to find the things that I think my students will need to accomplish this goal. The first one I will look at will be adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. If I click right here, I will add all these skills to the goal, but I think I want to look and see what skills are underneath this section, so I click instead on the statement, and it opens it up, and it shows me some items, adding fractions with like denominators, and it gives me some examples, subtracting fractions with like denominators, and a variety of adding and subtraction with like denominators. So I think I will add this one to their goal. And as I go down, I will go down to equivalent and simplifying fractions. Let's see what they have. I will add this one right here by clicking the add. I'll reduce to simplest form, and I'll include some word problems. And I'll just go with that for right now. And those will be the items that I want to include. You can notice them right up here. You can remove a skill if you want to. And you can assign the goal to, and you can name a student or a class. So it doesn't have to go for the whole class. If you have a student that's struggling and needs more practice, you can assign more problems to that particular student. But I will assign it to the class, first period math. And then I can also assign a target date when I want them to have this finished, and I click the Finish button. So now when I click on first period math, it says use equivalent fractions and it says click to view progress and I can see if the kids have been doing anything. Not yet, but when I come into the next video you will see that students will have been practicing and how you can see if they're achieving their goals.